So I've talked a lot about uh, a lot of things that you shouldn't put in your videos if you want to stay monetized. So I figured I would just kind of go over step by step all the things that I do and all the things I think about when I go to upload a video and just a few things you want to consider when uploading so that you don't get demonetized. So uh, here we go, we're just going to upload this test file right now. So for those of you who don't know, I actually have a main channel. You know, it's just another generic uh, Reddit story narration channel. And running that channel for most of this year has really gotten me a lot of practice dealing with demonetization because for one, I cover a very wide variety of topics and you know, I'm reading other people's stories and you know, every video is kind of about a different thing so I'm trying to learn what demonetizes you in all different categories. And then the second thing is, uh, it's pretty much daily uploads. So I've had to deal with the monetization bot almost daily for the last seven months or so. And yeah, it can get pretty painful. So let's just do like an example kind of thing right here. So there are really two different strategies you can go for when uh, uploading and hoping for monetization. Uh, regardless of which way you do it, you're going to want to make sure it's private when you upload. I don't think you should ever just hit public and publish once it's done uploading because there's a lot of things you want to check before it goes up. But the two ways to really go about it are the fast way and the safe way. Now the safe way can take a while to get everything done. Basically you just want to Upload the video, let it finish processing completely before you add any title or any tags or anything, and then wait maybe 10 minutes, and then if it stays green, then you can add a title, and then wait a little while. And then if it stays green, you can add a description, and then wait a little while, and then add some tags, and then add your thumbnail. You know, you're taking it one step at a time. That way, if it does go yellow at one point while you're doing that, it's really easy to narrow down what it was that caused you to get demonetized for that video. But we're going to be doing it the fast way, which is just fill everything out how you would want it. And then if it goes yellow, try to just backtrack, maybe test some different things to figure out what was causing it to go yellow. So let's just give this some random title. Oh look, we've got some uh, recommended tags here. <clears throat> you know, we'll give it a custom thumbnail. All right, so now that I've given it a title and a thumbnail and a description, kind of, you basically just have to wait a little while. So the way the monetization bot works, it will scan your video, but it doesn't scan like in real time. So usually you'll just have to like, you know, change something and then wait five to 10, sometimes even like 20 minutes for it to update. But while we wait for this to update, I have quite a few tips I can give right here. So um, I've talked a lot about the list of demonetized words and things that you shouldn't have in your titles. I mean, like I've said, you might be able to get your video monetized if it has one of these words. That's why I recommend using this list backwards. So like, let's say this comes up yellow, which I already know it will. So I could say like, okay, what is demonetizing me? So I could look up the words. Typically, it's best to look up the nouns and the verbs because those are the most common words on the list. So be like, okay, maybe this is demonetizing me. And then I go on to the list and then say, oh, yep, corpse is demonetized. Okay, so let's change that to something else. And then wait a little while and hope that comes out green. If there is a certain word that you really want to put in your title, but it's just you cannot seem to get it monetized, one thing that sometimes can work is you can put that word in the thumbnail instead. So the bot technically can read text on your thumbnails, but it doesn't seem to be quite as strict as the text that's in your title for some reason. So if you had words that were like maybe not too extreme, but they were still on the yellow list, you, you might still be able to put them on the thumbnail and get away with it. But the pictures on your thumbnail can also get you demonetized. Um, there is actually one website that you can go to that you can test thumbnails. Uh, if you just Google Vision AI and you uh, just click the very top one. So this website is by Google and you can scan images. So uh, let's just, um, let's drag that in. Let's drag in our thumbnail into the testing thing. So yeah, you just scroll down a little bit. It'll tell you what's in the picture. But uh, the one thing that you really care about is this over here, safe search. So adult, very unlikely. You know, all of these things are unlikely. This image scanner can be just as bad as the word scanner sometimes, as uh, even very harmless pictures might show up as like very likely in any of these. And if your image shows up as very likely in any of these, 
that might cause the video to get demonetized. So if you think your thumbnail is what's triggering you, just uh, send it through this and uh, check that. Again, it might also have something to do with uh, the text that's on the thumbnail. So let's just come back to this video. Oh, yep, demonetized. So like I said, we did it the fast way, where we fill out the title we want, we give it the thumbnail we want, you know, just do everything the way you want, and then just hope it works, and then if not, just tweak it a little bit. I'm going to assume that it's the title that is causing me to get demonetized. But let's say that it wasn't so obvious that the word corpse is what was getting me demonetized. The, the number one thing I always do when uh, it comes up yellow like this, I just change the title to title. I hit save. Now this will refresh the bot and um, it will scan it again and then in maybe five or ten minutes uh, I'll refresh the page and if it comes up green then I will know that it was the title that was causing me to get demonetized and then I just have to try a different title. I know it can get really frustrating when you try a title it doesn't work so then you try like a different title and that still doesn't work and you try a different one you're just watering down the meaning of the title and it's really hard to actually keep the meaning of the video while getting it monetized but yeah the more videos you upload the more you will learn about the bot and figure out what things might cause you to get flagged though the bot is still learning and it has changed quite a bit I mean I would say that a couple months ago it, it got a lot better because I used to get demonetized so easily and now it seems like I hardly ever have to deal with getting demonetized. So there must have been some kind of update in the last couple months because uh, that list of uh, demonetized words, it's something around like 900 words right now. It used to be about 2,000. And then I went through and uh, tested a bunch of the words again and a lot of them came off the list. And that was around the same time where I stopped getting demonetized so much too. So I do think it is getting better. I mean, obviously there are still a lot of really weird things that shouldn't get you demonetized that still do. So let's just recap what it is that I've done by now. So I uploaded the video, you know, I put in all of the title, description, tags, and thumbnail that I want for the video, and then of course it comes up yellow. So the first thing I always try again is the title. The title seems to be like the most sensitive thing to get you demonetized. So that's why I will always change it back to title like this, and then uh, wait and see if it goes green. Which, for me personally, most of the time that does make it go green. So then I will just have to try a different title, and then a different one. However, if it doesn't go green, the next thing I'll usually try is the thumbnail. I mean, when it comes to descriptions, I know for me at least, and a lot of other channels, you know, we usually use the same tags in all of our videos, or at least very similar tags. So it's not very likely that you're just going to get demonetized for the tags that you use every day, one day. And then same with the description, it's usually the same each day. And like I said, you can just go to the Vision AI page to uh, test your thumbnail, see if that's what's causing it. Um, I mentioned before that it's really good to always keep it private. You want to make sure that it is green before you publish it, if possible. So yeah, once you've got it done processing and you're waiting for it to get monetized, that's when you can come and put in your ads, put in your end screen, your info cards, all this stuff. I honestly think it's really good if you make your video before you actually plan on publishing it. Because if you can schedule it ahead of time, then you have plenty of time to work with it and try and get it monetized before it actually goes up. Usually if I've been trying to mess with it for up to about two hours, that's when I just give up and leave it to manual review and then schedule it. Um, I know that it says that they will only review it if you have 1,000 views on it. Uh, I've had some that have reviewed like way before 1,000 and some that don't review until like 10,000 views. I think it all just comes down to how many videos they have in their queue. And so if there are a lot more videos that are being requested at the time, then it will take a lot longer. Okay, so this is interesting. So this is staying yellow right now. It's been at least 10 minutes since uh, I've changed this to title, and uh, that should have made it get monetized by now. So I'm thinking that it is the thumbnail, and the word demonetized is actually uh, demonetizable, <laughs> funny enough. And uh, the word sucks possibly could too. So uh, there, it is always an option. Just change it to one of the default thumbnails and then wait for that because if it was the thumbnail that was causing it if you just change it to a generic one then a lot of the times that can make it go green however I have noticed that it does take a little longer for it to scan for thumbnails like titles can rescan in maybe five to ten minutes thumbnails can take up to about twenty I think uh, one other thing when it comes to this demonetization list a lot of people get the idea that you can never even say any of these words in your videos and while, yeah, some of them might get you in trouble, you're not actually that likely to get demonetized, like get the yellow icon, because you had swearing in your video. 
Like, if you have excessive swearing or, like, explicit terms that the bot really doesn't like throughout the video, then, yeah, you'll probably get marked yellow. But having swearing in the video mostly just lowers your CPM, meaning you're going to get paid less for the ads itself. So, like, all we ever see is if the video is green or yellow, but it actually gets a lot deeper than that because there's the whole CPM rating. Like, there's a wide range of CPMs you can have on a video, whether it's green or yellow. So, like, just because it's yellow doesn't mean you'll never have ads. Like, you can still make a little bit of money, and uh, YouTube's actually talked about how they're trying to increase the amount of money you can make for demonetized videos. It just means that uh, there's certain companies that only want to put ads on PG content, you know, on green videos, whereas others are fine with their ads being played on uh, yellow videos, too. A lot of people talk about how your video gets very censored and suppressed, and it doesn't get recommended to anyone when it's demonetized. That can definitely be true, but it's not always the case. Usually, the only time your video is going to get suppressed is if it's demonetized for reasons like violence or sexual content or drugs. You know, only the more extreme parts of demonetization. Whereas if it has maybe some swearing in it, it's probably not going to get suppressed quite as much. Just know that there are different levels of demonetization. <laughs> And there we go. The video is now monetized. I would need to create a new thumbnail, come up with a new title. Um, yeah, that's why doing it the fast way can make it a little bit more time consuming in the end. Because uh, sometimes you just don't know what was causing the monetization problem. But in this case, I would just try a few different titles until you could get it green and the way you want. I mean, I've even had times where I could get a video green, but not in a way that I actually liked the title or the thumbnail that I gave it. So then I would just revert all the way back to the way I wanted it, see that it goes yellow, and then just give up and request a review. Because sometimes it's better to just have the high click-through rate, title, and thumbnail than it is to have it green if it's not going to be a good click-through rate. But hopefully this video was at least somewhat helpful. I feel like I was just listing off so many different points throughout this whole thing. But let me know if there are any uh, monetization-specific issues that you run into, and I will uh, try and answer any questions that I can. I don't know everything about monetization. The bot can be very inconsistent, which makes it really hard to understand. Uh, the one thing that really bothers me the most is when I will have a video that's green, I've let it sit there for like an hour and it's still green, but it's private. And then I will schedule it for the next morning and it'll stay green that whole time. And then once it gets published, then it goes yellow. That's what really bothers me. It's like it's refusing to scan it until it's public. And that is something I have no idea why it does that. But thanks to everybody who's been watching. Also, thanks a ton to everyone who's uh, signed up for the Patreon. I've raised enough money from that that I can actually uh, put a decent amount of time into doing all these tests and stuff. And especially to uh, Dr. Mike. He's actually funding like two-thirds of the Patreon himself. So without him, this project probably wouldn't be able to sustain itself. So go give him some support.